Hi everyone, Matt Metzger here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of ABI Dirt. It is getting hot, even here in the Midwest, it's warming up. For those of you further west and further south, it's getting even worse. So on today's episode, we're gonna tackle a Q&A, but it's gonna be all about water, because we need to hear about it. And to answer some of your questions today, and you left a lot of questions about water and arenas and, and our water trailers. So to help me tackle some of those questions, I've invited into ABI Dirt today, a good friend of mine, Kate Gorski. What up, Kate? Hey there. So Kate is our resident equestrian expert. She also is the face behind the vast majority of the social media posts we have here at ABI. So anytime you comment online or say what's up, it's probably Kate responding back. <laughs> So be nice, Kate's fantastic. So Kate's gonna help us tackle some of your questions today and we're gonna dig right in. All right, so Kate, yep. first question, baseline question, we actually get pretty often, water in the arena. Some people don't put water in the arena and you've got a lot of people who ask, what are the benefits of watering the arena? Yep. Absolutely, that's a great question. We know for you and your horse to have an enjoyable ride, it's super important for your arena to be watered for a couple of reasons, and that's to have consistent, stable footing and to keep dust down to a minimum. So water is a binding agent. That means it's holding your footing together. If your arena is not properly watered throughout the entire thing, you're gonna have loose, dry areas, and your horse is gonna be able to feel those inconsistencies underneath the surface. So Kate, let's then talk about how much water to put in arena, because we get that question all the, all the time too. Yep. It all actually depends. It depends on what your footing is, where your arena is located, and the depth of your arena. So if your arena is out and during the elements, you're gonna be running into areas that are gonna be drying out too much because of wind and even holding too much water because of rain. It all depends. So it sounds like a lot of different factors there. I'm putting water in my arena. How do I know if I've got the right amount? An easy way to determine if your arena is too wet or too dry is by grabbing a handful of your footing. If you grab a handful, squeeze it, and open your hand and it crumbles out, it's a sign that your arena is too dry. If you grab a handful, squeeze it, and water runs out, that's a good sign that your arena is too wet. From there on, you can determine if you need to add water or even let your arena sit for a few days. So Kate, a lot of ways to get water onto your arena. We've got folks who we talk to and work with that are using garden hoses. We've got some people who have overhead sprinkling systems, and we've got some people who have water trailers. Do I need to use a water trailer to get water in my arena? Maybe. It all depends on your operation. If you're using a water hose or sprinkler system, sometimes you're not watering your arena as consistently and evenly. You're gonna be running into issues where you're gonna have puddling or you're gonna be not watering enough or watering too little. So you're not really in control like you could be with a water trailer. With a water trailer, you have complete control of how much water you're actually applying to your arena. It's gonna be a consistent flow throughout the entire thing. You know where in your arena you're gonna add more and where you need to keep driving and not add as much water. All right, so I know we're talking water, talking arenas. Yep. A question we get all the time is why don't we put water tanks on the majority of our three-point arena drags? And that's a great question that we do run into a lot. We've designed all of our arena drags to give you as much control as possible while trying to properly prepare your arena. So the weight of the drag will change as you begin entering your arena with a full tank, you begin spraying, and by the end, your tank is gonna be empty, so your footing depth is gonna be inconsistent throughout the entire thing. Another issue to consider is that the water tank on the three-point hitch is just simply not enough to cover your entire arena. You're gonna have to refill your tank, go back out there and rewater it because the tank is just too small on the three-point drag. So Kate, let's say I've got an ABI water trailer. I've got some green stuff growing on the inside. How do we get that cleaned out? Simple and easy. Our water trailers have a recirculation valve, meaning it's gonna direct the water directly back into the tank. To clean your tank, dump a gallon of bleach into your tank, turn on your recirculation valve, and then simply spray it down your gravel driveway. Um, Kate, thank you so much for the help today. Love the information, really appreciate it. Absolutely, happy to help. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us on this Q&A session today on water. If you've got any additional questions for us, leave them in the comments below. If you've got a sprinkler system or if you're working in your arena and it's just too darn dusty right now and you're looking for some better solutions, take a look at the links at the end of the video or here in the description. Our factory reps would be happy to talk about the water trailers here at ABI and we'd love to get that dust knocked down for you. But until next time, Take care, everybody.